Yeah. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Today, I'm bringing you guys this video to talk to you about LeBron James. It's finally time to go ahead and Evo one, my man, LeBron. So, uh, first off, let me go ahead and update you guys on what's going on. Right now, I'm currently leveling up that Westbrook that I got in that uh, nice little pack from the last video. Um, as well as LeBron is getting upgraded to rank nine. I've really been waiting for this, man. Like, y'all don't understand. I've been wanting all of my players on the same type of level for a while now. And I had to start all the way over straight from Mythic. I had a fully decked out legendary team. Everybody was Evo 3. Everybody was maxed out. But now, man, I'm just on a build, so... What we have to do here is we have to go to All-Star Challenge and we got to play a bunch of games here, man. So let's hop into it. Now, the first thing you guys want to know is LeBron James is only going to be Evo 1. I'm not going to be able to get him to Evo 2 or Kobe Bryant for that matter. Um, in my last video, I told you guys that I was going to Evo 1 Kobe Bryant. And I did that on my day off. And today, I just wanted to bring you guys this video and show you the Evo for LeBron James. So... Let me go ahead and uh, get through this real quick. Let's see what we got here. Come on, we gotta skip all this, man. It's gonna it's gonna be a lot of skipping going on. Don't worry about me and my diamonds. I'm spending my diamonds for the, I guess the, the viewers out there, man. Uh, so we gonna go ahead and skip that. Got a perfect. Now, uh, I do want to let you guys know that um, this current team that I have that I'm going to try to get the Evo 3, the reason why I chose to get this team the Evo 3 first is because these guys are literally like the have some of the best chemistry in the game, but there are still those players out there that are kind of cheesy when you're going up in like rank matches and stuff like that, but those players are very hard to come by, and I, I'm guessing since I already have these players and they're kind of easy to get, in a sense, I have to try to, you know, max out these guys first. Now, a lot of people was telling me, like, D-Wade is, like, a, a weak link, you know, in my in my uh, entire team. But I feel like Carmelo, I thought he would be the weak link, seeing as though, you know, he's a lower overall card, which is a 91. But I guess, you know, D-Wade running point guard probably isn't the best bet because his ball handling skills and control and everything like that just doesn't stack up to those actual true point guards out there like i heard that the steph curry card is better um steve nash card is better i've heard that uh, even chris paul's card is better um and you know maybe one day when i get those cards up and see what they actually can do for me then you know i'll think about trying to get those guys evoed up but right now I have Dwayne Wade on, uh, I believe he's on Evo 2 right now. So he's 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 probably like my best card right now, to tell you the truth. And um, Carmelo Anthony is Evo 2 as well, but, you know, he's just missing a few things from like his wristband and everything like that. I'm trying to tailor the wristbands to try to get them uh, tailored for those exact players. I'm not sure how i can actually do that without you know keep spending diamonds over and over and over you know tailoring the uh wristband trying to see if i can actually match it up but i probably will knowing me you know just testing it out seeing what skills i can actually get from this now uh i have about less than 10 matches left in all-star challenge and i'm just going in hard for these all-star tokens man that's what it's all about now i know a lot of people probably want to know the alternative to all-star challenge since it only comes probably like maybe like once or twice every month so basically the thing with all-star challenge is it's a little bit cheaper than actually drawing mythic cards now to draw a mythic card you have to spend 600 diamonds each time now some cards give off 20 pieces some cards give off uh 30 pieces i think like mellow's card if you draw his i think it gives up like 30 pieces of mellow um d wade's is like 20 and i think like kobe Shaq, and all of them i think it's about 20 so if you're trying to get 600 uh per and you're trying to actually get like i would say like a 300 max of pieces you're definitely going to be spending a lot of diamonds whereas though here I'm not just getting um, pieces. I'm getting luck. I'm getting gold, and I'm getting the all-star tokens, right? So I'm gonna I'm I'm show you guys what these uh, these all-star tokens are like. Why they're better than the actual draws? 
now i have noticed that in some of the draws they have been actually adding new stuff to it like maybe it's like a kickback of diamonds or um maybe it's a, like kickback of gold like i'll show you guys okay so i have zero challenges left let me go ahead and grab my stamina for the day hold up this is my first uh stamina uh that 12 o'clock joint so basically in a draw like if i wanted tony parker right let me go ahead and see this see you draft for 600 but you get rubies in return for trying to draft a tony parker now tony parker is not guaranteed but what you have a chance of getting is all these other cards now do you see the all these purples though like did you see all those mad purples and how many actually legendary cards you have a chance at getting you don't have a chance at many legendary cards here um, same thing with Ginobili. He's kicking back some uh, rubies, and they're not giving up too many crazy uh, legendary cards, especially if you have like a lot of luck. Now, I will say that for me, I find the All Star token thing a lot easier because uh, for about 15 tokens you get 10 pieces, so for 30 tokens you get that 20. Now you can get a lot of tokens if you have a beast out team. But some people don't have a beast out team and then when they're doing an all-star challenge, they're not actually getting that much. So let me go ahead and show you real quick what I'm working with. All right, so I got 346 tokens, right? I'm gonna go ahead and try to do the math right here in this video. So let me go down to cards. Let me see the pieces. All right, so right now I have 70 pieces for LeBron. So let's see what we have. Let's see if I can even get close to an Evo. Let's see, 70, uh, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, let's see if we can do this. All right, so I just got 230 pieces of LeBron James for about... I would say 5,000 to 6,000 diamonds, not including the gold and luck that I received as well in the draw. Now, if I would have drew uh, players, I might have gotten, I'm not sure how many rubies, you know, it's not actually set in stone how many rubies you get, but I know the kickback here was I'm able to Evo or even just, you know, get a card period. So you get about 230, pieces of a card for about what did it say about 300 and something uh tokens so i just i just find this a little bit easier um it's not not to say less stressful but it's more so like you kind of know what you're getting like for your bang for your buck i guess you could say whereas though with the draw there is that luck factor where you might pull a card and still get a kickback of pieces and rubies now you you can look at it from that way i know a lot of people do look at it from that way they say well you know how about when you're drawing and you know you you get that you get that how should people say it pack luck you know some people might actually get that that luck and just be able to pull a card out of it um i will admit i've uploaded a video on youtube where i actually got me a Dwayne wade card out of it out of drawing and still use the pieces to uh combine for another card so i'm not going to sit up here and act like i never had luck before you know what i'm saying the luck is there it's just sometimes a lot of people don't bank on the luck you know they they go for the sure thing so i'm going to go ahead and evolve this lebron james to evil one for you guys here bang we in there we made it you know what i'm saying and uh just to show you guys what's going on with mega stars right now lebron james is a zero megastar now he's a one megastar now i have to choose what i want him to be here uh let's see inside attacker uh pretty good let's see inside defense pretty good as well um his individual his individual i might you know what what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna work on inside defense first um him and him and uh shag basically have to hold the fort down on defense um, so I'm just gonna work on him uh, right now. Let me show you guys my other cards. Uh, Kobe Bryant is at level 26, Shaquille O'Neal 27, D Wade and Melo level 26. Now what I'm gonna do is after I get LeBron to level 26, where I can actually fill up his first 
uh, joint. Hold up, let me see. If I can fill up his first uh, Starway talent, then I'll go back and probably work on Mello first with since he's a 91, and then I'll probably get him to the max level. All right, so uh, this is your boy IKC signing out. Uh, you guys see here that I have I have an Evo uh, 2 Dwayne Wade. I have an Evo 1 Kobe Bryant, finally. I have that Evo 2 Carmelo Anthony. I have that Evo 1 LeBron James. And I have an Evo 1 Shaquille O'Neal in my lineup. And uh, if you guys want to check out you know any other pieces or you know if you if you have any tips on you know anything let me know in the comment section man uh this is your boy ikc signing out thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video drop that